PCI 5 Compliance Kit automate the process of compliance checking. That allows you to select the compliance criteria and easily generate a compliance report. In this video, we will learn how to set up PCI 5.0 Compliance Kit for single channel simulation and analysis. So let's get started. In the first step, we'll open Topology Explorer 17.4 from Cadence Program menu. And from Cadence Product Options, we have to select either Advanced SI2 or Advanced SI License and click on OK. Once the Topology Workbench is open, we have to create a new topology. So click on New button and from here, we have to name our topology. In this case, we are going to name it PCI5 Kit. And next, we have to select the topology path. To do it, we have to click over Browse button. And in our case, we are going to save it on desktop select the folder. Once we have set the path, we have to select the compliance kit. To do that, we have to click over compliance kits tab. From here, we have to select PCI 5 compliance kit and here we'll get two options. One is for single channel analysis and another one is for crosstalk. As of now, we are going to select PCI 5 single channel analysis and click on create button. Once the PCI 5 single channel analysis topology have been created, we can go ahead with Setup Analysis Options. To do that, we have to click over Set Analysis Options link from the workflow. And this Analysis Option window will open. From here, you can set the parameters for TX Primary. So as you can see, as of now, the data rate is set for 32 Gbps. Stimulus pattern is random. Signaling type is set for NRZ. You can switch between NRZ and PAM. And next, we are going to set the jitter and noise parameters. To do that, you have to select it and it will direct you to jitter and noise window. From here, you can add all these parameters and make sure whatever the parameters you will add here, these parameters will be incorporated into the stimulus bit stream for transmitter. Then click on OK. And similarly, you can add jitter and noise parameters for receiver and click on OK. Once we have set the analysis options, we can close this window. Now we are good to go to set up compliance items. To do that, we have to click over choose compliance items link from workflow. In this case, we'll select all the compliance item except jitter test because this will going to take a little bit time. So in our case, we are going to uncheck that and select all other options for compliance test. Once we have selected all the options, we'll just close this window. Now we are good to go for check compliance or run the simulations. To do that, you have to click over check compliance link from workflow. And here we are going to name this simulation PCI 5 kit and click on OK. So as you can see the simulation have been started, it is going to take little bit time. Once the simulation is done, we can see this kind of PCI 5 compliance report. Let's maximize it first. And here we can see a couple of fields for eye mask, insertion loss and differential return losses. To check where it is failing, you have to click over the link which is given in the simulation results column. So let's click on eye mask link and it will direct us to this eye mask. As you can see, there is a clear violation. To make it more visible, I'm just going to click over the property, change its color to more visible one and make its width to two. If I zoom in little bit, so as you can see, the eye mask is completely outside for this particular corner. So that is where it is failing. So you can make required changes there and redo all the analysis. To see other simulation results, so firstly I'm going to close this. All right, to see other simulation results, we can go to browse results from workflow and it will direct us to SSI viewer. From here, I'm just going to see all the channel simulations. So let's select that and click over show results. Let's maximize it. We are going to set all the windows in cascade and you can see this is the channel report and here we can find all the numerical information related to simulations and analysis. Similarly, we can see the 3D eye density plot and eye contour for received waveform. If you wanted to switch between eye contour and waveform, you can switch from this option. So let's select the waveform and we are going to zoom in a bit. So you can see these are the received signal bits that we have transmitted from transmitter side. So you can verify all these waveforms and see how you can improve the received signal. 
all right so this is how you can do the pci 5.0 single channel analysis using compliance kit